If you want to make a lot of money, and I mean a lot of money with single family homes, Section 8 homes, you got to buy them distressed. Let's talk about it. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. Today I'm working with my man, Navy J. J in the Navy, thank you for your service, brother. Today I'm going to help you. Buy a distressed property. Utilize the Burr strategy. Then utilize Section 8. Then make as much as 88% on your money, bro. And the best part is my team will be the boots on the ground. We'll do everything. Property management, construction, maintenance, the whole shebang. We do it all for you, brother, because you're out there in the Navy doing that, right? For other folks who may be watching this, if you're interested... And making the big money, as much as 88% return, right? What you need to understand, folks, is you got to get in contact with motivated sellers. Motivated sellers who own distressed properties, right? So I'm going to give y'all a little gift, right? Right here, PropStream. Click that link below, people. I got free trial to PropStream. Then after that, if you choose to stay on board, you get a little discount because you got it from Holton Wise TV. That is going to give you access to motivated sellers with distressed properties in any market in the world. But if you're focused on the Cleveland market where your boy is, you just want to come here to Holton Wise, right? Just send us an email, sales at HoltonWise.com, and we'll get you a video like this, a video like I'm doing for you, Jay, where I'm going to show you how to do all this, right? You asked me to find you something that would net you over 300 bucks a month in cash flow per door, uh, we've hit that pretty close in a few of your other videos, but if we can get this one to go, bro, it's going to clear that by 68 bucks. That's my estimate. Let's take a look at all the details of the numbers right after this. Hey, Steve. What are you doing? Oh, nothing. Just saving money on my rental property insurance. Oh, my, Steve. Take me now. Holton Wise. Real estate investing made easy. Wow, I'm so glad I clicked that link below. Welcome back. What we're doing, folks, what we are doing is a bird deal in the Cleveland market. And we're going to make a ton of friggin' money on this thing, okay? We are going to be able to make, I'm projecting as high as an 88% return on the investment because we're doing a few things here, right? We're utilizing the Burr strategy. Buy, renovate. Rent, refinance, repeat, okay? You buy a crummy house, and boy, oh boy, this one is a crummy house, okay? This is a very crummy house, okay? The thing is just friggin' destroyed. It doesn't actually look bad from the outside, which is good, right? It looks like it's pretty okay from the outside, but the inside, holy crap, right? You can see it's just destroyed, dude. It's any and everything needs done. Kitchen, bath, floors, walls, okay? Uh, probably a roof if I had to guess, okay? Hopefully the electrical uh, is reasonable, but I'm sure we're going to need to do some electrical work as well, okay? We have to, to achieve our goal here, we have to utilize like a, a wide buffer, okay? So we're going to be making a low offer, right? So again, we're going to be combining multiple strategies here. The first one being the Burr strategy. The second one, we're going to be utilizing the Section 8 program to maximize our returns. And then the third thing we're going to be doing is doing a low ball offer. Why? Because the reno is going to be so intensive. I want to leave a ton of buffer room, okay? 5921 Merrill Ave, Cleveland 44102 is the address. It just hit the market at 39.9. We can't offer 39.9. That would be crazy in my opinion, right? What I want to offer is 25. Why? Because I think we're going to need to spend 40 grand on a reno, right? That puts our all-in investment at 65. Now, here's the thing. With that 40k, we're looking at walls, right? We got to redo all the walls, patch all those holes, right? Electrical behind the walls. We're not replacing like all the wires in there or anything. But we got to probably do some electrical work too. I'm sure there's improper stuff throughout this house, right? We got to do all the floors, right? Those floors were destroyed. So we got to probably just lay like a vinyl allure over the top, right? Whole thing, okay? Vinyl allure. Kitchen, 
Home Depot loves quality cabinetry, fixtures, blah, 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 blah. Totally new kitchen. Same thing with the bath, right? Got to do it all. Now, all that, that'll probably be, you know, like above 30. From there, I'm leaving us a little buffer, right? Do we need to do a roof? Maybe. It's like uh, with this property, probably like a six, $7,000 roof, right? Now, in addition to that, we may find there's issues with the HVAC, right? If you got to redo that, you got to do a new furnace, that could be an additional 4K, possibly an additional 1K for a new hot water tank. I don't know what's going on there, right? So the 40K is kind of an open bid. I can see this $40,000 bid easily getting uh, up to 50000 right? Now, this video, it's just the first step of the due diligence process, okay? The second step, of course, would be if we get it under contract to do a home inspection where I could really narrow that down. Maybe that goes up to 50, right? So that's why I think we got to leave such a wide open space here, right? So 25K in the acquisition price. Don't really think you could afford to pay any more than 25K to make this burr work, okay? 40K for the rental from what I could already tell. Again, I can see it going higher, right? This is a super old house, right? But I'll know more after that home inspection. And maybe if there's even more issues than I'm seeing, we would have to, to make the deal work, we'd have to go back to that seller and try to chop the price even lower, right? Because we're we're getting close to the ARV, right? 65 would be our, our all-in investment, but the ARV in this neighborhood, right? It's only going to be about 80 Gs, okay? But here's the other thing. This is where the Section 8, right? Section 8 program ties in. This is actually a friggin' five-bedroom house, okay? So we get ourselves a five-bedroom voucher tenant. Woo! We're looking at at least $1,100 in rent, 13200 Normally, for a normal five bedroom, I would anticipate a higher amount of rent. I would, I would give you guys a higher rent estimate for a five bedroom voucher, but the house is not that large, okay? Even though it's got five bedrooms, it's not like a massive house. It's only about 1,200. 45 square feet, right? I don't know if that's 100% accurate, but it's not like massive. It's not like 2,500 square feet or anything. So uh, I erred on the side of caution, but dude, that five bedroom voucher, the bigger the vouchers, the bigger the bedroom size of your house, the bigger the vouchers you get from your tenant base, right? So that's super cool, right? Now with our fully renovated house, with our five bedroom tenant voucher, right? We've been bringing in about 1,100 a month. That's 13,200 a year, but of course, we have fixed and variable expense estimates to calculate. I believe our clear NOI would fall short of 7,500, right there, short of 75 every year on average. This is where things get super juicy if it works how I want it to work. 65Ks are all an investment. The ARV is now 80. That means the bank will give us back 60. You only have 5K into the deal. That would be a friggin' 88% cash on cash return, which is is amazing right 88 percent right because we're utilizing the burst strategy number one we are getting a low 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 ball offer accepted number two and number three we are maximizing uh the quality of income we can get utilizing the section eight program because they pay per bedroom right the tenants are issued vouchers the more bedrooms the higher the voucher amount right that would be a perfect scenario but again, this is step one of the due diligence process. I can't narrow it down any closer to you unless we get an inspector in there to go over this house with a fine-tooth comb, which would take probably three, four hours, right? And even then, you're doing such a large renovation on such an old property, right? Things could go one way or the other, right? Which is why I think it's so important to get it for 25, right? Because, I mean, realistically, right, if it's a 40K reno, you can make an awesome return if you paid 30 right you'd be all in for 70 it still appraises for 10k more right but i want to give us that buffer just because i believe there's you know going to be quite a bit of variables and you have to understand that if you're investing in these types of deals in these types of neighborhoods folks the larger the renovation the wider you know, the wider amount of variables you're letting into the thing, right? If, if it's just like a house where all we got to do is paint the bathroom or paint a kitchen or something or paint a living room, like it's pretty easy to figure out what we got to do there, right? But you take a super, super old house like this, I, you, get, you get situations where guys start working on things and then you don't really realize everything you need to do till you actually get into the work, right? These types of projects have a tendency to... Uh, increase in cost and scope, right? Especially living in a post-COVID world, folks, where construction prices are up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, right? But again, all of that is why I believe we need to make such a low ball offer. And I also think we have a pretty good chance of getting it accepted. Maybe not today, maybe the seller, 
uh, thinks about it for a little while, and maybe he really thinks somebody will give him 40 for it. I don't really think so. I think there's not a lot of people out there who are willing to take on such a big project, right? Holton Wise, we're one of the only people I know that renovate these kinds of houses as often as we do. Like, it's a big friggin' project, okay? So this guy may... Uh, not find himself a buyer willing to pay his price because his price is crazy. This doesn't make sense. I don't, I don't see how anybody could pick this thing up at 40 and turn it into a profitable deal. That just doesn't make sense, right? So he might not be open to 25 today, but in my career, what I've done, you know, I've done this for years. I've made a ton of money doing this, right? You send out a bunch of low offers and, you know, sometimes they get ignored. Sometimes people say no, but guess what? Three months down the road, if they haven't sold to somebody else, those sellers, they start trickling back to you. Six months down the road, some people take a year, right? Sometimes they really believe that they know the price, and this guy thinks it's 40. I don't, okay? So, you know, it's a numbers game, man. When you're trying to make huge returns, 88% returns, lots of things need to go your way. And the more shots you take, the more shots you're going to make. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.